This is BrokePan, my free to play account. Last week, I got 18 new brawlers, and this week, I got a huge win streak and Mega Pig rewards. That's at the end, by the way. If you want to be a part of future videos, join my Discord server here. The goal for today is to get to 2,500 trophies, and I'll tell you why soon. To start off, I got Bunny Penny as a free skin from the daily gift feature. I had a look at the quest and decided to go with Jackie, and the first few games went great, and that inspired some confidence in me. That was misplaced, as at 150 trophies, you stop facing bots, but your teammates also stopped responding apparently, and that was the end of the streak. Not a great start for the week. At this point, I felt like Jackie was just a few games away from 200, so I decided to just power through it. Now, during my 200 Jackie game, I had an amazing 8-bit on my team called and his gameplay was as good as his name suggested. Instead of clearing the ball, this dude decides to walk it back to our goal, and that eventually led to another loss. That's two in one session, and surely things can't look much worse, right? Anyway, I managed to finish up Jackie in the very next game. I decided to pick up the Monkey Man once more since he had some quests available. I even gave him his gadget Clipping Scream that can be used as a death blow and also slow down opponents. Games in this trophy range on Miko felt like they were a breeze, but if I'm honest, I was still very unsure about the randoms. Sometimes I was just able to walk the ball in from the spawn point. And at other times, I had some rather close calls, which surprised even me. Occasionally, I tried to make some cheeky plays, and these blew up on my face quite spectacularly. I also made some monumentally dumb plays. But with all these things said and done, I still managed to get my 300 trophy Miko game. And here's where things started to go sideways. I had an AFK Mortis as a teammate, and this Frank knew exactly what needed to be done to put me six feet under. After a couple of games, I finally got back to that 300 trophy game once again and faced arguably the biggest endgame boss in Brawl Stars. Giovanni, the hypercharged Jackie. She completely wrecked my team as we didn't really have any brawler that can outmaneuver her. And I misjudged her speed with the hypercharge, which resulted in a close call. But in the end, the L was inevitable. No. And then oh, I lost Jackie. another that game. So much damage. But my motivation didn't vanish just yet. I just kept soldiering on, and I finally got that 300 Miko that I wanted. I decided to go with Dynamite as the last brawler for the day, and these games went by pretty smoothly with some clutch kills and even a huge triple Dynaboom nice. kill. Oh, I finally managed triple. to get my Dynamite to 300 trophies, but more importantly, I made our goal. And now, I finally get to unlock the rewards of all that effort. I got 150 power points, 50 coins from a rare star drop, 100 credits from the free brawl pass, and 500 credits from the trophy road. And that allows me to finally unlock Terra, which is huge for this account. And I also made some progress towards unlocking 8-bit. On day 14, we'll get our Mega Pig rewards for the month. But today, our objective is to reach 2,800 trophies, and that's about it. We start off at 2,553, and I decide to pick up the bee since I do have some quests with her. All in all, B was breezing through these gem grab games. I did have a hiccup here, and if I die, it reset, so I don't want to die. But in the end, it didn't matter at all. Next, I had to get five wins with Colt, and it was initially a bit sketchy as my teammates kept feeding the enemy Nita. Bruce honestly made me go on overdrive, netting 15 kills and over 100,000 damage. The rest of the games, however, were pretty trivial. And now, it's time to get Terra to 100 trophies. Like other pierce and spread damage brawlers, Terra is pretty good at earlier levels, and once you get her super, you can easily keep chaining them if you target multiple enemies. I did have this annoying bull teammate though, called Egg, who decided to BM on bots and miss his cold scoring opportunity. Egg, Egg, they're bots, Egg, calm down. Not much else to report here as Terra did really well at this trophy range. And finally, we hit that milestone with Terra. I gotta choose Penny's gadget from the daily gift, and I went with the salty barrel as it'll allow me to deal with tanks a lot better. So with this new ability equipped, 
I decided to play Penny to complete today's mission. With the amount of grass cover, this map actually gave me a few scares as Rosa and 8-Bit kept targeting me and keeping me low. I was also a part of the problem. I actually managed to mess up my teammate Andrew from his war break by passing him the ball. Regardless though, I did manage to satisfy our objective of getting to 2,800 trophies and now for our rewards. We get 150 power points, 50 coins from a rare star drop, <laughs> and 100 coins from the trophy road. 1,000 power points along with 50 more power points from a super rare star drop. At this point, it honestly feels like I'm never going to get credits from star drops. On the next day, I wanted to reach two milestones. 3100 trophies was one, and I also wanted to get to a 50 win streak once more. I started off with getting a free penny crying pin from the daily gift. Daily quests gave us a lot of duo showdown shenanigans, and the map of the day is Cavern Churn. And since it's super bushy, it allows for a lot of sneakiness, so I decided to pick up Rosa. I won't lie though, I got carried in my first game by a random cult, and after that, I even got 500 coins from a mythic star drop which was amazing things were going pretty well till i did the dumb <laughs> no i'm so dumb 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 luckily though my teammate dale the bee did an amazing job of staying alive you're amazing you're the best bee in the world so in the next game i still didn't learn my lesson and walked straight into a much higher power yeah, cold and yeah. died no why how did he do that much and once again, I was at the mercy of my random to stay alive. But after I respawned, I went back into the thick of it. And somehow, we managed to get second. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I don't even care. We got second. I don't even care. We got second. I don't even care. I did cap off Rosa and got her to 200. And now, it's time to play another brawler that's a menace on this map. Shelly on Cavern Churn at lower levels is honestly a blessing. You can chain her super and absolutely destroy enemies much stronger than you if they get too close. Most games seem to go over quite well. And I started racking up those wins pretty fast. And in the blink of an eye, we were done with Shelly and onwards to Bull for similar reasons. And with the first game itself, I knew that Bull would be a difficult brawler to push. I had some really great plays and some monumentally dumb ones too. No! What did I do? Why did I do that? No, oh, I'm so fucking dumb! But in the end, I prevailed and got the shotgunner to that goalpost. I upgraded Poco to power 7. Because he's a tricky brawler, he can either be really amazing or really terrible. And I kept going in the wrong mode. Okay. Wrong mode. No, why am I, why am I going into this? Why am I going into this? Uh... No, what's wrong with me? Why do I keep going into showdown? Stop hitting again. I did manage to get back in a brawl ball and the games were pretty fast. With my Poco heals and spread damage, we kept ripping through the opposition. And I decided to push Poco a little higher than 100 trophies to get to our goals for today. First, I managed to get to 3100 trophies and then I had my 50 streak game. And that's where I faced a huge problem. Nita isn't that much of a threat, but my randoms are huge threats here. They consistently kept walking up to Nita and feeding her bears repeatedly. Honestly, with our comp, Bruce is such a huge pain, but my team and I managed to overcome this massive hurdle to get our coveted goal off a of 50 win streak. With that behind me, it was time to grab some of our rewards for all of the hard work. I got 50 power points from a super rare star drop, and with 100 credits from the free pass, I got 8-bit as well, which is going to help a lot with our trophy push. 200 power points for the mythic star drop, and with the 925 credit reward, I also got M's today. That's two more brawlers to our gang. On day 11, I started off with getting Penny to power 8 via the daily gift. And after having a look at our quest, I felt that with two quests, I should bring out the old miner to the fray. But the milestone that I wanted to hit today is getting to a 69 win streak in Brawl Stars. With Mike being power 7 and having Satchel charge, I was confident that I could do really great with him today. And to sweeten the deal, I even got 750 coins from his mastery. This first game brought its own sets of challenges. Double Trouble is largely a long-range map, 
and there are points where Dynamite can do great, but with Edgar, Miko, and Kit being available brawlers, it's very scary and unsettling. We were in a pretty bad spot, but somehow, someway, I was able to clutch up and get my team to the pole position. And right after that, I was rewarded with this. Legendary Star Drop! Oh my god, that is amazing! Please give me credits! Please! Okay, I got Colt though. I already got Colt, but Shark Tooth Colt? Fine, I mean, uh, it's better than... Nah, I, I would still like credits. I would still like credits. I then moved on to 8-Bit, as he's a brawler that I haven't played in this series yet. The arcade bot with his super turret can dish out a lot of damage to enemies, and that's what I'm looking to do. But I have to be very careful about his very slow speed. I had some gem grab quests to do with 8-Bit, and with the help of my teammates, we managed to finish that up quickly and move on to Brawl Ball. Things didn't change here frankly and I managed to tear through opponents who walked straight into me which allowed me to get to 100 on the lovable robot. I got M's yesterday and wanted to bring her into the arena as well and felt like she could go the distance. After a lot of dominance I was finally able to break out of our old streak of 62. A few minutes later I was able to do what I couldn't in the last episode and I just wanted to get to 69 and I finally got to that elusive goal. Let's go, trick shot for 69. That surely deserves a sub, right? All I can say right now is nice. Today, I got 50 coins from the rare star drop, 10 gems, 200 coins, and another 50 coins from another rare star drop, which was quite lackluster by all measures. But hey, it is what it is. The 12th day was a really long one as I had 15 mega pig games in the free to play club that I'm in. I tried to abuse Colt in the first game and it went over pretty well, except for the Amber that decided to super kick the enemy ball and then proceeded to get mad at somebody. <laughs> anyway, after completely destroying that lobby, I moved on to game two where I decided to take Penny. Newer players for some reason can't dodge the Penny turret shots, so I thought that I'd abuse that fact, but instead my team and I were abused by a hypercharged dynamite that resulted in a loss. Next up was a map that had modifiers, and my teammate Colt suggested for me to take Miko. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that this map had a Kaboom Time modifier, that being said, everything is destroyed in the map. But luckily, the Colt carried, and we still got the dub. Game number 4 had the Power Cube modifier, and since Colt was pretty beefed up in his power levels, I decided to roll with him, and honestly, he was just so good at the mode. But it didn't help that we were playing against people who didn't know about the game, right? In the fifth game, I decided to abuse Colt once more and copped another dub, and I even got the Oni Oda spray from an epic star drop. The next one was a doozy. Colt was taken for the wall break aspect, but I was facing opponents who were silver one, and my teammates seemingly didn't know how to play the game at all. I tried my best, but with both Dynamite and Edgar to face, there wasn't really that much I could do on my own, and we got the L here. I got the same map again for Game 7, but this time I decided to go with the Miko, as I thought I could just hop over walls and it would be a swell time, but we faced a triple tank combination, which I don't do all that great against. Despite my best effort, we took the L once more. That's two in a row. Game was a knockout, but it wasn't a bot lobby because of the two losses and honestly nothing much to write home about. In the ninth game, Colt was the pick as in long range maps without much grass, he seems to be doing a great job. This game would have been quite simple if not for our Frank, Meow, who repeatedly fed the opposing team. Regardless, we got the dub. I had decided earlier that if we got the Great Divide once more, that I'd run Dynamite, but I didn't notice that it was the instant overtime modifier. Oh, the map's broken up? I am dumb. I didn't see that. That's very dumb. Despite the horrendous Dynamite pick, I still managed to come out on top. Game number 11 had me take Penny, and we had a lot of close calls here. And with one clutch kill and a save from our Charlie, our team got the win once again. Dynamite was my go-to for game number 12, and despite facing a hypercharged Jesse, I managed to pull my team kicking and screaming. 
Shooting Star on Kaboom Time was another reason to bring up the dual gun wielder, and it was a pretty okay game till the enemy Edgar got his hypercharge, and it did look quite sticky for a moment there. I continued on with the same brawler for game 14, once again on Shooting Star, but this time it was with the Ice Age modifier. With 5 kills on my part and 4 on my Edgars, we cruised through the penultimate game. My final Mega Pig game was on Close Call, and in this one we had the power cube modifier, so I went with my trusty monkey. Miko is very great with power cubes, even if they don't scale like they did in the past, Miko can easily steal power cubes from the enemy team, and I abused that strategy to the fullest. At the end of this run, I was 12 for 15, which isn't that bad. And for my rewards for the day, I got 200 coins from the trophy road, 50 power points from a super rare star drop, and 1000 coins. And I also claimed 750 coins from Colt's mastery road. Not much progression for today, but I'm hoping that the mega pig rewards in 2 days will be a launch pad for that progression. Since yesterday was all about Mega Pig, today I want to get back on track with the trophy push and be a bit ambitious. I decided that I wanted to get to 3700 trophies, but honestly, I really want to get to a 100 game win streak as well. Let's see if I can. Right off the bat, I got my penny upgraded via the daily free gift, which will come in handy later today. I was told that up to 150 trophies you face bots, so I brought up my Terra to get to that milestone, and I upgraded her to power 3 just for some extra oomph, though I doubt I'd need that. With her gravity, Terra was able to get a lot of team wipes, and the 4 games we needed to win were as good as done. Frank was next on the docket, as I had 5 wins to get with him, and with his stunning blows, it went over quite well. And that quest was super easy to finish. Carl, like all the brawlers up to now, does spread damage, and since he's slightly underleveled, it did make it slightly tougher, but honestly, it was still a walk in the park. I had a monkey quest, but had some terrible experiences with him in the past, and I had some coins, so I decided to upgrade Miko to power 9. Luckily, the first game in Brawl Ball was against bots, and my goal was to delay it as long as possible to get as much damage done, but my Mortis teammate had other ideas. No, that means I got to play another game. No, no. And now I faced the double tank situation and I was scared. I did pretty well overall, I'd say. But then the enemy Primo had a super kick and an open goal. And this is what happened. No, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, that was clutch. I didn't even intend it to be clutch. That was nice. With Miko's damage quest out of the way, I was feeling quite good, and Bo was my next target to 150. He's still pretty strong in the meta despite the damage nerf that he got, and these games went by without any incident really. I had the same experience with 8-bit, Penny, and B as well. I also managed to get the 3700 trophies too, which is one of the goals for today. Poco and Primo were also a game away as well, and with the Luchador, I was able to finally get that 100 game win streak that I was looking for, the first time I've reached this milestone in Brawl Stars. I grabbed the daily freebie of 5 credits, another 100 credits from the free pass, 100 coins from the super rare star drop, and from the trophy road, from a rare star drop, I got 100 XP doublers and 150 points, and 400 credits as well, which brings us slightly closer to unlocking the Mortis. On the final day of week 2, my goal is to get to 4,000 trophies. I started off by unlocking the Mega Pig, but before that, if you love this sort of content and want early access to it, become a channel member today, as it will help me a lot in terms of producing more content such as this for you. 10 rare star drops, 6 super rares, and 4 epics, which resulted in 858 coins, 638 power points, 106 blink, 900 XP doublers, a Janet spray, and a Terra spray from this mega pig. This was super underwhelming to be honest, I expected a bit more, and I still haven't got any credits from star drops on this account! <laughs> Next, I got the Penny GG and Penny Clap pins from the daily gift as well. After looking at the daily quests, I decided to start playing some Brock, as I needed to get 5 wins on him. The first game was a bit tough, and I had this Mortis on my team, Sukuna, who was basically the end game boss for my win streak. I was at 101, and he was threatening it with his terrible plays. I was still managing to collect a lot of my shots, and just when I thought we had this in the bag, this happened. And we should survive. One, two, three. No, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. No, no, no. No, come on. Sukuna, please. Please, Sukuna, please. Please, Sukuna, please! 
Please, Sukuna, do something. Please. Dude, my trophies, my win streak, my everything. Dude, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! No! With my win streak gone, I was very morose and took a little break to recharge a bit. After some respite, I decided to pick up Jessie to get her to 200. The games up to 150 trophies were a breeze, honestly, and when we started facing teams, it got a bit dicey, especially since my Jessie was just power one. And that's when I faced him, a Frank from my worst nightmares. This guy got his Frank all the way to power 11, and I'm just a power one Jessie trying to kill this 14.4k HP sponge. And let me tell you, it did not look pretty. With his gadget, he easily one shot me and then I knew I had to respect his space. I felt like most of the time, my team and I were on Frank duty just to take him down. Luckily though, his teammates were just as bad as he was bulky. And after a few more minutes, we were up to Jesse's 200 trophy game. This was such a painful game as our Brock had a free goal and decided to whiff it somehow and Batista, our Poco, just wanted to be a passenger princess and that's how I lost another milestone game. After one more game, I was back to my 200 trophy game with Jesse and this time I was able to get Jesse past that hurdle. Now, I need over 100 trophies and I want to beam the opponents with Colt once more. I upgraded him to power 11 and copped the speed gear. My goal with Colt was to use a silver bullet to take out as many walls as possible and then proceed to bully every brawler in existence on the map. And that's exactly what I did. After the difficult games with Jesse, this just felt so right super cathartic and I think I realized that I might just be a sadist at this point. Still, the randoms were amazing. I faced a dynamite in my 300 trophy cold game and I proceeded to make life a living hell for him as he literally had nowhere to hide. I did the same to a barley in another game and I was really in my villain era right now. In my 4000 trophy game, I just kept beaming and team wiping as per usual. Honestly, this was the most fun that I've had with Colt in a while, and I didn't feel bad about the 101 streak loss anymore. To finish off this week, for the free pass, I got 50 coins from a rare star drop and another 1000 coins. And from the trophy road, I got 100 coins from a super rare star drop, another 200 coins, and 925 credits for getting to 4000 trophies, and now, you're very close to unlocking the Mortis, but I still have a long road ahead of me. If you missed the last episode, you can check it out here. And remember to use code PEN in the Brawl Stars shop.